battle. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will expel the warmongers from our government. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists, Marxists, and fascists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will rout the fake news media, and we will liberate America from these villains once and for all. Hey, welcome back. I'm your man, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We have a fantastic show. We are going to be debunking Ben Meisless, the delusional moron, as he goes on an epic screed raced laced rant about Donald Trump. This is just over the top. It's absolutely nuts. The stuff that he makes up out of whole cloth, out of thin air, are just crazy. So without further ado, Let's jump right in. The title of this one is Lunatic Trump Reveals Plan in latest media posts. Let's go. Donald Trump continues to make overt and direct threats at the media and directed at billionaires who are not doing his bidding, essentially threatening to lock them up. And of course, why would corporate media cover anything like that? That doesn't fit the narrative they're pushing right now. While that is taking place, Right now in Sun Valley, Idaho, at a private equity company called Allen & Company's annual gathering of billionaires and corporate media moguls. They're all meeting right now, celebrating, having the time of their life, and saying things like this. This is Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav, who owns CNN. This is who controls CNN. Here's the statement that he just made about the upcoming presidential election at this Sun Valley Idaho event. Zaslav said um, it mattered less to him which party wins as long as the next president was friendly to business. We just need an opportunity for deregulation so companies can consolidate and do what we need to do even better, he said. So if you want to know why is CNN, why is MSNBC, why are all these corporate media networks doing what they're doing? He gave away the playbook right there. And this is the guy, David Zaslov. Take a look. That's what right now we are up against here at Independent Media, just trying to get out the facts and trying to get out the truth. Here, by the way, is what Donald Trump just posted. So, as What, suddenly you're upset at mainstream media, Miceless? You tool, what are you upset about? They have gone after Donald Trump for the last eight years, 24-7, 365 days a year. You had no problems with MSLSD, with CNN, with uh, NBC, ABC, CBS, all of these corrupt globalist media companies. You had no problem with them as long as they were attacking Trump. Oh, but wait a minute. The minute there's a story about your boy Biden, the minute there's an actual real news story, not one made up, not one distributed by the CIA to its operatives in the media and then trumpeted, even though it's completely false. No, a real story about the fact that Biden does not have the mental faculty to be present. Once there's a real story and the media actually covers it, not because they're doing real journalism, mind you, but because they're trying to CYA, because they knew all along. They've known Biden is mentally impaired for the last four years, but they didn't want to cover it. They covered it up. They hid it. They ran cover for the Democrats. The minute they don't want to do that anymore, suddenly they're evil, miceless. Come on, have an ounce of integrity. No, you don't have an ounce of integrity. You are the biggest ideologue propagandist moron on the planet. Wow. Zaslav and his crew of DECA millionaires and billionaires are doing whatever they're doing in Sun Valley, Idaho. Trump's just threatening them. And they're like, whatever, as long as we get deregulation and less taxes uh, for the billionaires, we're good. We don't care about the rest of Americans. This is what Trump just wrote. Republicans must pass the SAVE Act or go home and cry yourself to sleep. Wah, wah, wah. The Dems can't win on their policies. The only way they can win is to cheat. Wah, wah, wah. Get tough RNC. Speaker Johnson. Wah, wah. The Republicans absolutely have to pass the SAVE Act. But let's think about that, Meisless. What is your problem with the SAVE Act, actually? The SAVE Act does one thing and one thing only. It requires you to have proof of citizenship 
to vote. And this should be a controversy. Why? This should be a fight between Democrats and Republicans. Why? This should be opposed by anybody. Why? The U.S. Constitution endows the citizens of the United States with the right and responsibility to vote in our elections. It endows no one else with such rights or responsibilities. You do not get to vote in our elections if you are here as a tourist. You do not get to vote in our elections if you're here on a work permit. You do not get to vote in our elections if you're here even as a permanent resident because your company moved you over here indefinitely. No, you do not get to vote in our elections if you're an illegal migrant who stole their way across the border at the dead of night. None of those people get to vote under the U.S. Constitution. All the SAVE Act does is simply encapsulate that into a federal law that makes it a felony to vote if you're not a U.S. citizen and makes it a requirement of all polling places that you have to provide proof of citizenship to vote. That's all it does. And if that's something that's you, you have a problem with MICELESS, then you have a problem with the U.S. Constitution and with actual Americans running America. That's your problem. Wah, wah. The Justice Department is corrupt and won't do a thing to help. Wah, wah, wah. They have no shame. All I can say is that if I'm elected president, we will pursue election fraudsters at levels never seen before, and they will be sent to prison for long periods of time. We already know who you are. Don't do it. Zuckerbucks, be careful. So, right? Please go after election fraudsters. Please. That should be a heinous crime. If you ballot stuff, if you ballot harvest, if you, if you use fake ballots, if you defraud people of their vote, the one thing one of the things that is guaranteed under the Constitution and for which the rest of the world would scream to have a system like ours, that if you are an election fraudster, yes, you should get serious prison time. And that goes for Zuckerberg as well. He should get serious prison time for the election interference that he perpetrated in 2020 by throwing checks around that had no he had no business writing because they weren't allowed to be accepted and so the people who accepted those checks and used that money to propagate DNC, poll workers, and other things, yes, they absolutely should go to prison. I have no problem with that. And no one really in America has a problem with that because nobody wants criminals to get away with things except you, Meisless. You only want Democrat criminals to get away. There, a direct threat to Mark Zuckerberg saying, Zuckerberg's, I will send you to prison if you in any way, what, help people get like water bottles? No, he will send Zuckerberg to prison if Zuckerberg commits election fraud. Read the tweet or the, the truth post, you imbecile. Read it. You just read it. Can you not understand English? What an absolute buffoon. Um, help people find election centers. Um, Donald Trump, who put forward fake electoral slates Donald Trump, who tried to interfe interfere with a free and fair election, saying that. And by the way, Donald Trump did not interfere with a free and fair election, and he didn't put, uh, put together fake electors. They were alternate electors, which every which every presidential part, which every political party has done in elections going back 40 years, whenever the results in a state were under contest. If they were contested results, if they were doing audits, all of any of those things, there were alternate electors that were seated. Depending on the results, when the state results were finally certified, the appropriate group of electors was sent to the Electoral College. It's been done by Democrats and Republicans alike going back decades. Tell the truth, Miceless. Tell the truth. Immoral fool with no integrity. I mean, this is ridiculous. Lobs and the billionaire class, they're enjoying things right now in Sun Valley, Idaho at their convention. Donald Trump also posts things like this. They are almost all dishonest and corrupt, but Comcast, with its one-sided and vicious coverage by NBC News, and in particular MSNBC, 
often incorrectly referred to as MSDNC, Democrat National Committee should be investigated for its country-threatening treason. Their endless coverage of the now fully debunked scam known as Russia, 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 and much else is one big campaign contribution to the radical left Democrat Party. I say up front openly and proudly that when I win the presidency of the United States, they and others of the lamestream media will be thoroughly scrutinized for their knowingly dishonest and corrupt coverage of people, things, and events. Why should NBC or any other group or any other, uh, any other of the corrupt and dishonest media companies be entitled to use the very valuable airwaves of the USA free? They are a true threat to democracy and are, in fact, the enemy of the people. The fake news media should pay a big price for what they have done to our once great country. Again, making overt threats to shut down the media. He made no threat to shut down anything. He said they should pay a heavy price if they willfully engage in peddling lies. Guess what? There's already laws on the books for that moron. It's called liable and defamation and slander. Now, if you willingly tell a lie about a person in the media, you are subject to both civil and criminal penalties already. He's merely saying that he's going to do his job as the chief executive to enforce the existing laws of the United States. And tell me, does anybody have a problem with a media company being held to account if they knowingly tell false you know, false information, lies to the American people. So what should happen to MSDNC and CNN and NBC and all of them when they knew, they knew up front that the Hunter Biden laptop was real, yet they told willingly lies for months that no, no, it was Russian disinformation. That was a lie. They knew the Russian collusion hoax was a lie for four years and they peddled it. To what end? This is all, they, they, there should be accountability for that. And Donald Trump has not said he's going to shut anybody down. He said they should pay a heavy price for peddling lies. And I completely agree. There's not, there's not hardly a U.S. citizen that wouldn't agree that you should get punished for telling lies. And oh, by the way, you had no problem with these media companies when they were peddling lies. And you had no problem with companies like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, when they shut down people, when they actually deplatformed them because they didn't like what they were saying, even if what they were saying was true. For example, go back to when people were saying that masks don't work. That was clin that's been clinically proven. It's been clinically demonstrated that surgical masks do not stop a virus any more than a chain link fence can stop a mosquito. They were telling the truth, yet they got shut down, deplatformed, censored. You had no problem with that, did you, Miceless? No, you only want speech when it lines up with your ideology instead of being a free speech absolutist. What a tool. This is from someone saying that he wants to be a dictator on day one and who gives quote. He never said he wanted to be a dictator. He said he wanted to be a dictator for one day. It was a joke. Oh, I guess we can't have comedy anymore. Cowie now, Miceless. What an idiot. Quotes that are essentially verbatim of Adolf Hitler quotes and who has rolled out Project 25. By the way, the Heritage Foundation is the main sponsor of the Republican National. Name one quote. Name once when Donald Trump has quoted Adolf Hitler and passed it off as his own. Name one. Name one quote, you moron. And let's talk about Project 2025, shall we? Let's dive right in because Trump has already had something to say about Project 2025. Just so we can bring receipts, here we go. Project 2025, I have no idea who is behind it. I disagree with some of the things they're saying and some of the things they're saying are absolutely ridiculous and abysmal. Anything they do, I wish them luck, but I have nothing to do with them. Obviously, again, people that he knows who could. There you go, Miceless, you insufferable fool. Project 2025, just so everybody knows, is a heritage project, essentially white paper. It's a 900 page blueprint that was put together to help the next incoming president. And guess what? And this was put together a while ago to help the next incoming president 
actually take power and give it back to the American people. It's that blueprint. It's not Trump's blueprint. Trump's blueprint is Agenda 47. Want to know what Trump thinks? Go to his website, look at Agenda 47. Trump did not author Project 2025. He's had nothing to do with Project 2025. In fact, the one of the authors of Project 2025 was on the media shows making all the rounds saying that they even pitched this to Biden. But Biden didn't want to hear anything about it because Biden's an anti-constitutional hack. No. And just so everybody knows a little bit, the main cornerstone foundation of Project 2025, what is it? Let me show you. In the mandate for leadership, in Project 2025, here it is right here. This is on the executive office of the president. The great challenge confronting a conservative president is the existential need for the aggressive use of the vast powers of the executive branch to return power, including power currently held by the executive branch, to the American people. That is the linchpin of Project 2025. Return power to the American people. None of these people will tell you that. But regardless, Project 2025 is a pretty good thing. But even regardless, Trump has nothing to do with it. He didn't author it. As he said, he disagrees with some of the things in it. It's an absolute waste case of story. It's pure propaganda. It's pure lies. It's pure made up BS. Convention, they are telling you their plans for a fascist takeover to turn our media into Russian propaganda media so that it all looks like Fox and OAN and Newsmax praising dear leader. It is obvious what they are saying right now. Absolute lies. Everything he told you is a lie. Where's the receipts, Meisless? You got no receipts. Here. But for David Zaslav and who runs and owns CNN there, it looks like, I mean, it looks like out of out of the, uh, the TV show Succession, I mean, just there with the handkerchief, like what in the world is even going on there? So out of touch with we the people. Donald Trump then writes, MSNBC, MSDNC uses free government approved airwaves and yet it is nothing but a 24-hour hit job on Donald Trump and the Republican Party for purposes of election interference. Brian Roberts, its chairman and CEO, is a slime ball who's been able to get away with these constant attacks for years. It is the world's biggest political contribution to the radical left Democrats, who, by the way, are destroying our country. Our so-called government should come down hard on them and make them pay for their illegal political activity. Much more to come. Watch. Again, these are direct threats right here. And by threat. the way, you have the Trump MAGA crew replacing we the people, our American flag with Trump flags now that say Trump or death or combinations of. There's not political threats. He, as, as the chief executive, if he's elected president, it is his responsibility to enforce the law. He simply has to enforce the laws that are already on the books. Trump's face on Confederate flags. That's just what they fly. They don't sing the national anthem anymore. They sing no the Confederate J6 flags choir there. Yeah. song. As Kevin Cruz uh, wrote back in September of 2023, he says, you'd think that Trump's habit of endlessly threatening the media would make them realize he shouldn't be treated like a normal candidate. But in truth, threatening will only make some Beltway reporters bend over backwards to seem extra fair to him. Trump is not threatening the media. He's simply saying that they need to be held account based on the existing laws of the United States. And do you want to hear someone who issued a veiled threat? But of course, Meisels will never show you this. Oh no, Meisels will never show you this because it doesn't fit his little stupid narrative. Remember this, everybody? Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. I want to be very clear, very clear up front. <clears throat> not every Republican, not even the majority of Republicans are MAGA Republicans. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. So there you have it. Joe Biden calling Donald Trump and anybody who voted for him an extremist threat and basically sicking the end. Now, this is actual. He took the DOJ, the FBI, and the CIA and turned them loose on his political enemies. We see it now. He turned the DOJ loose on Donald Trump. He turned the FBI loose on Donald Trump and on people who went to school board meetings. He turned the FBI and the DOJ and the CIA loose on parents who dared stand up to the sexualization, the grooming of their children. 
Dipsy do flipperoo, Meisless. This is already happening under Biden. Not only that, but when you've got the owners of these corporations like David Zasloff right there saying that um, in beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho, for the private equity company Allen & Co.'s annual gathering for business moguls saying, we just need an opportunity for deregulation so companies can consolidate and do what we need to do even better. It's all about corporations. I don't care about we the people. Let's have CEOs make 500, 1,000, 5,000 times what the worker makes who's struggling to put a dinner on the table for their family members while corporate greed spirals out of control. These are the same media companies that you loved just three weeks ago, idiot. You hypocritical, hierarchical moron. And Trump and the MAGAs give the billionaires the tax cuts and they gut the unions and then go around the country and lie about what it is that they're doing conveniently laundered through media networks run by people like Zaslav that you're seeing right there partying in beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho. Uh, must be. I mean, run by pe media people who are as anti-Trump as you get and no, Trump has not gutted any unions. In fact, it's all the unions who are supporting, the union workers who are supporting Trump because they're tired of Joe Biden and the Democrats gutting the country with illegal migrants, high inflation, high taxes, endless wars, money laundering, corruption, you name it. Must be very nice right there. I'll share this with you. This was recently put out by the Lincoln Project. This is scary video, but it needs to be seen because this is what Trump's agenda would be. This is Donald Trump's plan. As the Lincoln Project said, Donald Trump's plan for America is no secret, is no secret. This is what they describe what would happen if he took over. And guess what? Zaslav, you think there's gonna be an environment of deregulation? Trump's gonna shut you down. What do you think is gonna happen to you? What do you think is gonna happen to you? Oh, maybe then you'll live in your, you know, your mansion at Lake Como or whatever. Is that what you think? It must be nice to think about that as your backup plan, but we the people know what's up. Watch this, this is from the Lincoln Project. It's an incredible video they just put out. November 5th, 2024, Donald. This isn't an incredible video, it's chock full of lies. So I'm gonna let this play and I'm gonna comment as we go. I'm gonna try not to stop it because it's just, utterly long and stupid, but this is just lie after boldface lie after boldface lie. Trump defeats a divided and dispirited Democratic campaign. On January 20th, 2025, Donald Trump is sworn in as the 47th president of the United States. Oh, that would be awesome. Can't wait. Unfortunately, Can't wait. he keeps his promises. Please Trump seizes promise. control of a divided government signing hundreds of executive orders implementing Project 2025. No, because he's already disavowed Project 2025. He has nothing to do with Project 2025. And no, you want to talk about executive orders? Let's talk about a little fact from Google, ultra left wing. In his first 100 days, Joe Biden signed 42 executive orders, more than any other pres president since Harry Truman. He signed more executive orders than Trump. So if you want the executive order queen, it's Joe Biden, not Donald Trump. Lie, major lie number 27 already in this stupid video. Trump replaces over 50,000 civil servants with hardline MAGA loyalists. The federal- Please, and guess what? We should replace career bureaucrats with political appointees so that when a president rolls in, he's not stuck with deep state morons who don't go anywhere. Oath of office now We're requires declaring loyalty to the president, not the Constitution. No, loyalty Protected to the by the Supreme United Court's States. grant of total immunity for official acts, again Donald lie. Trump orders the Department of Justice to arrest immunity. members of the January 6th Limited Commission, immunity. current and former DOJ employees, and political opponents for treason, election interference, and conspiracy. Should people not get prosecuted for treason, election interference, conspiracy? Should they not go to go to should they not get indicted and tried for corruption? This is just he declares it to be crap. an official act. Trump ends birthright citizenship by executive order and turns millions of American born citizens into illegal aliens. No, because you can't make it retroactive, morons. Once somebody's a citizen, you cannot remove their citizenship by executive order. That would be unconstitutional. 
This is so absolutely splitteringly stupid. And it's just absolute dishonest propaganda crap. Even if Donald Trump signs an executive order ending birthright citizenship, which it's not that simple because it's in, it's encoded in a couple of U.S. codes. So even if he even if he was able to do that, it's not retroactive. You don't you can't take away someone's citizenship who's had it for four years because of birthright citizenship or four years. This is just garbage. Overnight, it's garbage. Mass deportations begin. Hundreds of thousands, including legal U.S. residents and American citizens. No, you cannot deport U.S. citizens. God, this is so stupid. Are imprisoned in newly built camps. Protests erupt. Trump addresses the nation from the Oval Office, invoking the Insurrection Act and declaring now, the protesters a danger to American sovereignty. He orders garbage. the National Guard to use deadly force to suppress the protests. Uh, In the wake of the bloody violence, violence Trump declares nationwide martial law, okay. awarding himself new powers under the freshly signed American Sovereignty Protection Order. I guess what? There is no such, there's no American Sovereignty Protection Order. It doesn't exist. All of this is now absolute fantasy crap. So I'm not going to stop this anymore because this is just utterly ridiculous. We'll let it play to the end. I'll have a couple comments and then we'll get going. Which defines protest of immigration policies as non-protected speech and a threat to national security. Governors in New York, California, Illinois, and elsewhere declare their opposition, promising to refuse compliance in their states. Trump orders their arrests. Trump pardons every January 6th attacker, including those who assaulted the police, and in a White House ceremony issues a new presidential medal honoring them. Many are given jobs in his administration. Except for the parting of the Jason. The Department of Education has renamed the Department of American Values and mandates a nationwide Christian nationalist curriculum for all schools receiving federal aid. Trump, joined by Speaker Mike Johnson and evangelical leaders, announces that the Department of Health and Human Services has reclassified mifepristone, making it illegal to distribute or prescribe, as well as new HHS regulations that make IVF treatments impossible to legally administer. This is all fiction. Trump reverses one campaign promise by declaring a national abortion ban by executive order. Challenges to his authority are rejected by the Supreme Court, which has seen new appointments from Trump after it was expanded to 12 justices. He signs an executive order removing abortion records from HIPAA privacy regulations Again, and announces a new federal data sharing program so states can monitor women's periods. Thousands are detained while crossing state lines under suspicion of seeking an abortion. Unconstitutional. Trump's acting Secretary of Defense, a disgraced ex-general, fires over 400 generals and admirals, leaving fiction. the military leaderless. Utter BS. Other Trump appointees purge the ranks of the CIA, FBI, and Department of Justice. By executive order, Trump withdraws the United States from NATO uh, again, and ends Pentagon do that. cooperation Maybe with Ukraine. Ratified by Russian Senate tanks enter Kiev. Cannot withdraw a Vladimir own. Zelensky is killed. It is announced that Trump will run for a third term, Can't claiming he was unfairly cheated in the 2020 election. His Supreme Court ultimately God, agrees bullshit. with this interpretation, paving the way for Trump's 2028 re-election. If you hear all this and believe it isn't possible, then ask yourself, what did you believe was impossible just eight years ago? This isn't a fantasy. It's Trump's plan. And he's counting on you to believe it couldn't happen. The Lincoln Project is a defunct bunch of idiots. And this video was one lie from beginning to end. If you see this video anywhere, debunk it. Tell everybody that you know that this is utter, and I, I apologize for this, this is utter b is what this is. And the fact that Meistless peddles this tells you just how much of a moron. Well, again, a picture says a thousand words, and, and that Zaslav picture who runs CNN, runs the parent company, I don't know, in Sun Valley, Idaho right now, to me, speaks volumes and, and, and says every Picture is worth a thousand words. The fact that you posted that video says that you are ingrained in lies, that you are all about propaganda and lies, and you have absolutely no interest in the truth. You have no interest in facts. How do 2 million people watch you? How do they subscribe to this utter drivel and this boatload of garbage dumpster fire crap is what is why I want to know. This is ridiculous.
If anybody wants actual truth, please message me in the show, in the show email. We can talk. We can have a discussion. If you actually watch this fool, I I don't know how to help you other than I'll give you the truth and maybe we can wake you up. But if you believe anything that this knucklehead says, I feel sorry for you. Wow. Hey man, we got a republic to save and we got to save it from morons like this. That was just absolutely painful. I watched this crap so you don't have to. Oh, please, I hope you didn't watch this crap on Miceless. And I probably interrupted this way too much, but every time his mouth opens, it's another stupid lie without receipts, without justification, without anything. Absolute nonsense. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly, I didn't enjoy going through this content, but it has to be done. These lies have to be debunked. And thank you so much for your love and support. If you've stuck with me to this point in this video, kudos to you. You are you are a P1 listener. You're awesome. Please like, subscribe, share this with everybody that you know so we can debunk this garbage. And if you really want to support the show, consider joining us on YouTube or on Locals. And also we're looking for people who, if you can't monetarily support us, you can be one of our 100 plus core users. Turn on notifications, subscribe. And every time we drop content, please watch, like, comment, and share it. We'd love to have you help us out. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Hey, God is good and he is sovereign. That's why he's that's why he's revealing garbage like this because he'll bring all things into the light. It'll all be good in the end. I mean, if it's not yet good, it's not yet the end.